what's up guys how are you guys doing today hope everyone's having a great day as always um, man I am really really excited about today's vlog because I can't wait to show you guys some of these snakes that are gonna be going into some new tuppers tuppers no that's how you say it in Spanish new yeah. tubs because you know they're already up to size and how important it is that for us that we figured out that we would let them get to a certain size before we move them on here so they don't stop eating and it's been really really beneficial for us doing the, the way we've been doing and I'll show you guys some difference on some of these girls from this rack to this rack and it is crazy crazy big difference but before we get to that I want to talk to you guys about something that I've actually um, started doing with my sister-in-law Noemi Jesse's a wife yeah so my sister-in-law already has you know a pretty pretty hard job you know she works for Lockheed and you know, she works you know she works for the government I mean, she has a really cool job but out of you know she's such a big animal lover and she always goes out of her way just to you know like help animals uh, help them get you know uh, adopted so she took over this Instagram and it's from LA um, LA County animal care LA County so you know she's been going on there she goes in her free time you know plays with these dogs you know just you know associates with them and just kind of gets them you know like feeling good because a lot of these dogs are getting put down so what I ended up doing with her and it's something that we came you know up together and it's one of the coolest things that I've been a part of is some a lot of these people that want to adopt these dogs you just don't want to pay for the licensing fee the registration so what I ended up doing is I've been paying for all the registration the licensing, um, any kind of shots, and I pay up to three months, you know, depending on what dogs, even maybe up to six months of worth of dog food. We've been saving a couple of dogs here and there. We just saved two little sisters that, you know, nine month old pit bulls that were rescued. It was the coolest thing. I can't tell you guys how happy I am, you know, to be a part of this. I'm gonna put their information on in the description down below. If you guys are in the Los Angeles County, you guys are looking to adopt some dogs, um, please go check it out. And uh, again, I'm taking care of the licensing, the registration, uh, food for these dogs. So please, please, if you can help out a dog, please go check it out. All right, guys, so let's get to this. So real quick, let's start off with why we started waiting a certain size for these uh, snakes before we move them um, to um, a new tub. So I'm gonna show you guys over here real, real quick. Actually, you know, big shout out to my nephew, Alan, of course. You know, always killing it over here. Alan, I'll give you a hundred bucks if you know what kind of snake that is. Don't look over here. What is it? Uh... 100 bucks right now, cash. Something clown? Well, it is a clown, but it's an orange dream leopard clown pie. Look at this, guys. Let me see, I'll get it towards this, because I'm only like two inches taller than you. But we have an ovulation right there, another exantic clown, paired up to a desert ghost clown. We were just ultrasounding. And the next video, I'm gonna talk to you guys about how we're looking for this season. And it's been kind of crazy, because I always go back and I look at our YouTube vlogs, or I look at our, out of, out of our other sheets and um man we're way behind at this the last year at this time we already had 40 plus clutches and we already had like 50 um tubs you know already you know like marked down that you know these girls were showing high follicle size right now we're about like 40 girls and we only have four clutches in the incubator but the only thing difference is we actually a lot last year we had 120 clutches but 60 of them weren't really like that crazy we're just making like some combo heads combo this had this, had that, but this season, they were gonna show anywhere from like 60 to 80, but we're gonna be going into the next year with uh, with this season, but the stuff that we're making is insane, dude. I'll show you guys in the next vlog what's coming this year. So real quick, so this is the, before, we, you know, this male right here, he's three years old already, I actually made him. This snake right here has never really been a really good eater. I remember he started pretty good in the beginning, and you know, once he started, you know, eating and whatever, we moved him to a tub right away, and he's always, you know, just been okay at eating. So this is his his son right here. He's one of the first ones we started noticing, you know. We kept him up, oh, nice shirt right here, huh? We kept him in this tub until he was around like four to 500 grams. And this guy has not stopped eating and he breeds like a champ, dude. So he's one of the males that we've actually done that for that when we, I'll show you guys the sizes. This one as well too, look how big this guy is. So cool that my nephew just came in here because he does all have some nice, you know, fresh sheds. I mean, nice fresh tubs, cleaning everything. So right here, another one is, you know, he's not even a year old. And look how big he is. I mean, dude, it's been so freaking awesome to do it with these snakes. So let me show you guys real quick how big we uh, let these males get to before we move them to the tubs. So again, let me pull out the DG Sunset. Tina says something actually pretty funny. She goes, um, she goes, once they start, once they're in their tubs right here, 
and they start you know knocking off their water it's pretty much time for them to move um, from their from their tubs but let's kind of get an idea of how much you know he weighs remember this guy was see this guy's what six months six months old seven months old Oh, yeah, around there. He's not that. He's not that old. Here, yeah, almost 600 grams. Look how pretty this guy is, man. This guy is looking good. I cannot wait until we, you know, get some combos in there. And this year, hopefully, I mean, I think we'll be seeing some, you know, yellow belly inchi desert go. I mean, yellow belly desert go sunsets. Some um, inchi combos some spot those i mean we have some crazy stuff going on so right here what we're gonna do is you know pretty much everything's pretty much ready all we need to do is just add water to all these tubs well that one has water so just put it right here my nephew will come spray everything down and let's start putting tapes on here Temporary. turtle will come afterwards and start making these labels Right there, so we have one going. So another another thing that I've been doing, um, Alan, could you fill this up with water for me real quick, please? Second, guys, just give me a new a, a new um a new tub because actually change this one up. Look at this. How beautiful this thing is. How orange this thing is. I was gonna say very orange. Yeah, these are all of our last year holdbacks. How big they are. Well, yeah, not last year. Kind of towards to the eight, uh, the end of last year, it just got really big, really, really fast. All right. So next snake that we're gonna be moving are these awesome redheads. Look at this. Right here we have a Powerball redhead red stripe clown. That is so cool. Such a pretty snake. So what I'm actually gonna do, because I have really bad OCD and I was just doing this for the video real quick, guys. But I'm gonna put this over here and then put this right here. And I'll tell you guys why. So, come over here, turtle. Let's just see what we're doing here. All right, so right here again. So next, on this part right here, come on over here. Here's another redhead combo. We're gonna put it right under here. It's another male. And right here we have a redhead Batman. Do you remember, I just hatched these things just, you know, a couple of months ago. Look how pretty they are. I personally think that that's, that Powerball redhead is um, nicer than this redhead Batman. I mean, they're both beautiful snakes, but dude, these guys are just, they needed their tub upgrade. And the cool thing is like when we start feeding them, we always start off with a little bit of a smaller meal and you know, see if they get comfortable because once they get in there and they feel more comfortable and they start eating, they, they just start going at it. Now, like I said, these other snakes right here are a couple of months old and look how big they are. Look at these things. Not a couple of months, but they're around like six, seven months old. And I, I could already tell you right now, these things probably like around 800 grams, maybe a little bit more. We have that right there. So yeah, basically we wait a certain size for them to get up and then once they really don't fit in here no more is when they get their tub change. We're just gonna start moving some things along over here. Right here we have a super orange dream, yellow belly, chocolate inchi, pied, 100% head clown. Take the tape up. Most of these snakes right here you'll see that it says HB and those are all holdbacks. All holdbacks. And now I'm gonna start organizing them a little better just because I freak out a little bit on things and you know, just bothers me. Right here, I'll show you the snake once I peel this off. Okay. And right here, guys, the orange dream leopard clown pie. It's gonna go into shit, so leave that in there. But yeah, that's pretty much the process. You guys kind of actually see the size, I guess anywhere from 400 to 600 grams where we start moving them. I have moved a lot of snakes uh, sooner than that, but they have to be really, really aggressive eaters like this one. This one's going in there today. But this guy's just a total, well, you guys know I don't have to really say the word. So he'll be going under. He's never missed a meal. Go in there. There you go. This one as well, too. This one's in shed, going into shed. Right here we have the, what is this? A spot nose, red stripe, desert ghost, clown, uh, desert ghost, clown, clown. Yeah, hypo. So we're going to be moving this. I know you guys don't want to get too bored with all this. Um, right here as well are these sunsets 
that proved out to be hat clowns. Look at these. Let me show you guys all these right here. Put them down right there because these are all going to be going new tabs. We got so lucky, man. This, this, these were 66% hat uh, clowns, and they all ended up proving out to be hat clowns. Look at this. Spot nose, sunsets, leopard. I mean, dude, they're all getting brand new tubs. It is so freaking cool. What else, turtle? Let's pull some things out right here. Another one we got super, super lucky with as well. I had this thing up for sale too. Proved out to be um, Head Desert Ghost is this Yellow Belly Sunset. Dude, I almost sold this bad boy. This guy was this close from being sold. And again, we got lucky. We sent out the shed test and Dude, a lot of these things right here are actually staying here. Um, I am gonna sell a couple of other things. I do have a Sunset Head Clown, female and male, that we're gonna be putting up. And after this video, you guys go check out the Patreon because following that list is up there, which I'm super excited about. So guys, make sure you guys go check it out. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't wanna be boring you guys over and over with a lot of snakes that we're gonna be uh, changing from tubs, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, we appreciate all the support. Till next time, peace.